We leak exclusive images of an HTC Edge, which plans to be their first quad-core smartphone. We then sit back and leak another big list of HTC devices, and well, all hell freezes over as Adobe drops Flash Player for mobile devices. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everyone, I'm Jaime Rivera with PocketNow.com and welcome to Android Revolution, the show we go through what's hot and what's not inside the world of Google's Android project. Let's start this week off with what's hot. Let's start this week off with leaks since we know you hate all of them. Our man Evan Blast did a great job in unveiling an expected HTC Edge device which plans to be their first quad-core smartphone. It brings a massive 4.7 inch display with 720p resolution and some sort of invisible glass technology which plans to blow all of us away with some sort of mind-blowing technology change. The design seems to be quite different to what we know from HTC so we could expect something compelling though. We don't really know who's going to manufacture that quad-core processor. It could be the Tegra Kalel processor, but we still don't know. Aside from that, Evan did another great job in unveiling a full list of HTC devices with a lot of weird names. Now, it's a really big roadmap, so make sure you follow the link in the description for the full names, and hey, they even have an HTC Grande, or like everybody likes to say it, Grande in Spanish. And, well, it just seems like HTC needs to figure out how to use numbers instead of names. Imagine, hey, show me your phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing my HTC Grande. Anyways. And since we started the week off with leaks, let's go through some more. First of all, have a look at this image that Evan unveiled recently of an LG device sporting ice cream sandwich. Now, interesting enough, it does seem like if it brings a Mophie juice pack, and, well, Mophie's not going to build a juice pack for an underdog smartphone. Most likely, this could be the next LG's flagship, so let's wait and see what happens. And speaking of LG, remember that Ignite and Majestic devices that we leaked recently? Well, it seems that it could be the variant of the Optimus Black that we already know, so nothing really really big here, just carrier variants, though we don't know what the carriers are yet. And behold, we caught images of an HTC Sensation XC in white, and well, it was only a matter of time. It seems that white is the new black. We also recently caught images of an HTC Ville, which is planning to be HTC's first ice cream sandwich smartphone, though we don't really know what to expect because the image looks like some really poor job from Photoshop, so don't hold your breath there because it doesn't really look compelling. Hardware and image specs were also leaked of a Samsung Illusion though, hold your breath there because it's not really any Illusion device to think of because specs are really mid-ranged. And well, coming across Sony Ericsson, it does seem that we found some other images of the Xperia Arc HD though, again, it does seem that the device will bring some compelling specs, but sadly not really sure who's getting it and when. Out of the smartphone releases for the week, Samsung just did the inevitable. They brought their own Samsung Galaxy S2 in pink. If you could actually call that pink because it looks more like red or orange peach mixed with pink or something like that. We know you guys love pink so make sure you hit the device soon. Not sure when it's coming but I'm not on the list of people that are waiting for it definitely. And well speaking of software Firefox 8 just left beta so make sure you download the update because it looks really good. And PayPal also brought NFC technology for Android so make sure you download the update because it looks really good for those devices that do sport NFC. I think it's only a couple. Out of this week's coverage, make sure you catch Dan Webster's recent unboxing and device videos of the titanic Samsung Galaxy S Note, which is big in every way because, hey, the stylus performance does seem quite good. It does seem compelling, so make sure you catch the videos, which are up here. And well, aside from that, Joe Levi also brought us an article, a really interesting one, with a device list of all the devices that can get ice cream sandwich already with a port. So make sure you hit the link in the description with all the details because there are a lot of Samsung devices out there. Really interesting. And that same Joe just got his hands on a Motorola Razr from Verizon, which looks really, really good. I mean, the Droid Razr looks compelling in both performance and design, so make sure you catch the links for the videos upstairs because the device is really good. And well, since we've begun the week talking about quad-core processors, NVIDIA has just announced a new Tegra 3 SoC processor that plans to bring PC-like performance to mobile devices. Now, this is a Pentacore processor that actually is based on a Kalel quad-core processor that nobody's using yet. And well, apparently it brings an additional, additional core that's based on even more cores that bring you graphics performance that's highly superior. Now, it sounds to be mind-blowing, though we still don't know when we're getting it. It could be that we could probably see it 
next year on CES, so stay tuned for our coverage because definitely this could be the processor that's going to be powering the new HTC Edge device that we were talking about. Let's see. That does it for what's hot. Let's continue on with what's not and well, what do you know? It seems that the Adobe Flash battle has finally come to an end. Adobe has sat down and accepted that HTML5 is superior than Flash performance and they're apparently working on porting their Adobe Flash content to HTML5. And they also have offered tools in the past to be able to do that. Now, even though a lot of you may defer that Adobe Flash does play well on Android browsers, some of us may defer because it does work, but it doesn't work well all the time and it definitely seems to be a battery hog on devices so we're glad to see that Adobe has finally bit the bullet about this and began working on the future which is HTML5. Now let's see what Adobe comes up with with the current Flash applications that are out there and let's see what they come up with to be able to make developers happy with everything that's coming up and changes so not really sure what to expect for the future but sadly only certain manufacturers are planning to work on the Flash players for the future but don't expect any updates from Adobe on their Flash player from here on. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.